Hi, I'm Don Baden from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to take a look at Renegade Electric Guitar from Indigenous. Renegade Electric Guitar is a great sounding instrument. I love the sound of this instrument. The guitar they sampled has some beauty and clarity as well as some uh, deep, rich tones to it. As a guitar player myself, I'm always looking for great sounding guitar libraries because when I'm scoring for picture, and if the picture gets edited again, I need to go back and redo the whole part again. That's why I love virtual guitar instruments, especially when they have the ability to perform such realistic and expressive lines, chords, and phrases. The library downloads is about two gigabytes. It does require the full version of Contact 5.5.1 or higher. Digenus has released this instrument at 59 US dollars. If you're looking for an electric guitar library, I highly recommend this. It's a great deal at the price and it sounds fantastic. <laughs> First things I could say is immediately opening up Renegade, I'm excited about the tone. Um, I like how you're able to change your your pickups from your bridge to your humbucker because that gives you a very different sound. That's the bridge pickup. Here's the humbucker. The articulation controlled velocities, this is pretty cool. Um, you can see here our heaviest notes up here, right? It says around 95 and above for velocity will give us this slide. And then our velocity under 47 gives us this icon here, which stands for a muted sound. You kind of need to play through each of these because even though they have a, a pretty neat graphical character, I wasn't quite sure what they were till I played through them all. But after checking them all out, I hear the quality in these articulations. And again, he, even more excited about the instrument, it's uh, realism in playback. Solo mode, you have the different velocity controlled articulations. And in the chords mode, a lot of controls over parameters. So for instance, uh, we've got up and down strums. <laughs> These are pre-decided chords, so we can go ahead and change however we want them to be. So, so you could pretty much program uh, chromatically whatever key you'd like, although you do have a whole slew of master keys here that you can quickly flip through, which is great. You know, the, if you're a guitar player, then you do a lot of stuff in... A minor. And of course, you do a lot of stuff in G. Sounds really great. Just open it up and playing with it. And then you've got a whole bunch of different cabinet pedal configurations both in presets and with the ability to load and save your own. So the other thing you could do is quickly jump to power chords 
with this, uh, I guess this is an anvil, it's kind of cool. And from there we could select something like this, the angst, it's kind of a heavier driving sound. We've got an arpeggiator, uh, you turn it on and now it'll arpeggiate the play here for us to listen to together is all of the effects off here. I don't know if there's a master off or I just need to do it like that. So now we can hear our chords arpeggiated with just the dry sound. Great sounding guitar. Now this is one of those standout instruments that gets me very excited because not only does it sound great, the effects are, are pretty good. Uh, the engine has some great playability to it. Now, Indigenous has an official walkthrough video. There's also a great detailed review video from Christopher Harris at Sample Spotlight. I'll include all of that as well as my written review of the instrument on the Sample Library review page. Check the description below for a link to that. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you found any Sample Library review videos or the website helpful, please help support us, head over to our Patreon page for as little as a dollar a month. You can help us continue to create videos like this for you.